This is a demonstration of an add-on called Scapegoat. Its intended purpose is to help a user do a lot of the grunt work involved in laying out a cityscape. The plane in this scene is going to act as a street map for laying out our buildings. All the other objects are collected into two groups. The objects that look like buildings are in a group called buildings, and the primitive shapes are in a group called primitives. To make a very simple street map, I'm going to break this plane into a 5x5 five five grid of city blocks and streets. An easy way to do that is to add four edge loops in each direction and then bevel the edges. The scapegoat add-on looks at the material assigned to each face in a mesh and places objects based on that material. On my street map object, I'll create two material slots. The first one will be for the streets that I want to keep clear. The second material slot will be applied to the faces where I want buildings to appear. By default, all the faces are assigned to the streets material, so I just need to pick the faces that will have buildings on top of them and apply the buildings material to them. To show how the add-on will handle non-square faces, I'll move this street over and create two rows of non-square polygons. I'll add a third material slot, call it primitives, and then add a few of these narrow faces to it. The add-on's controls are accessed through an Objects Properties panel. Each material that is applied to our street map object can be associated with a group of objects. Since the faces in the streets material group are meant to remain empty, I leave that field empty. The buildings material is meant to have tall buildings on it, so I connect that material to the buildings group. This primitives material will be connected to the primitives group. Clicking the Add Buildings button creates a random arrangement of buildings aligned to the faces in the street map. Each placed object is scaled to match the shortest edge of its parent face. Objects are also rotated in increments of 90 degrees to add variety to the scene. Scapegoat tries to rotate building objects to align them to the streets around them. This allows the add-on to lay out more complicated street maps like this semicircle. Building objects can also be aligned to face normals.